Hello everyone. My previous video was about the right time to study abroad and I hope that video was useful to you. And today I want to discuss with you another new topic which is a most discussed topic about study in Germany and the topic is engineering in Germany. Now when we look at a ranking of a subject or a university normally what we look at is what is the ranking of a university and most of the time when we look at the rankings whether it is CHU ranking whether it is a QS ranking whatever ranking we look at most of the time they look at certain parameters and decide okay this university is the first this is the second this is the third and that's how the, the gradation goes but then we know that each university is famous for certain subjects some university may be very famous for certain subject and for some other subject they may not be but then some other university will rank first so universities are ranked for certain subjects but then when we look at a country countries have got a profile like for example when you look at us when we say when we want to do some study in computer science or the related areas then they say us is the best as a country so the country profile of us is very good for that but when we look at engineering the country profile Germany is the best for engineering country profile. Now why do we say that? Let me give you an example from my own experience. See I went to Germany for, Germany for the first time in 2002. 2002 when I went to Germany you know that um, most of the time when we go to a railway station or in the train you don't have announcements in English. Everything is going to be in German. And in 2002 when I go there my German was not good. And then later I've been going regular to, regularly to Germany but then at that time my German was not good so understanding German when we travel by train was difficult so people in Germany Germans and Indians they advised me you don't have to worry if you have booked a tra train ticket or if you have booked a seat in the train then get into the train if you have booked the seat sit in the seat where you have booked if you have not booked a seat get into the train and look at a free seat and then try to sit there but then when we sit uh, in a seat then there is a travel plan there is a flyer about the travel plan and then what does it say it's a, it's a flyer it says from where the train starts and where it ends in between which are the stops the train has and the timing at which time the train will reach this particular station this particular station and at the end so when we don't know german before every station they make announcements in german but if you don't understand what they advised me was you get into the train take the the travel plan look at the time at which your train reaches the destination where you want to get down once you have reached that place means you don't know where you have reached that place but look at your watch if the travel plan says your train is going to reach there by 310 look at your watch and then if it says 310 and if the train stops there get down that is going to be your destination and invariably that has been right in my personal case except when if there was an accident or uh, if there was some natural calamity in between then probably the trains get delayed but otherwise it's so precise so my experience is that if uh, what i said that the country profile is engineering that engineering precision is there in german mind so when i say when i speak about engineering in germany the most important thing is it's not just the engineering degree it's not just the engineering education but the country itself has got an engineering profile the mindset of the people if you look at the mindset it's an engineering mindset they are very precise in everything in the planning in the execution and if you have gone around germany we will see that every place is going to be exactly the same exactly in the same means when you go to a bigger city you have broader roads you have a lot of outlets you have a lot of facilities when you go to a smaller town you may have a narrower road but then facilities may be number of facilities may be less outlets may be less but everything the quality is going to be excellent the same way you will see in a smaller in a miniature fashion in a smaller place so that engineering precision is excellent so for engineering study germany as a country is the best now which are the engineering uh, branches very famous in Germany mechanical world-class civil world-class 
Now related we have quite a lot. We have mechatronics. Now recently electromotives are coming up. Green energy is coming up. Renewable energy is there. Then we have chemical engineering. We have IT automation. We have uh, civil engineering architecture. So there are different streams in engineering which depending on the student who wants to go for the study they can select. But mechanical, automotive all very famous, traditionally very famous uh, in Germany. We have uh, the best universities in the world for uh, such kind of uh, engineering. Now how long is the engineering degree in Germany? It's normally going to be three to four years. You will see bachelor in engineering or bachelor of science and that's how the, the, the undergraduate degree is classified. So when we want to go for a, a, a bachelor degree then you know I have in my previous videos explained about a student colleague program so we need to go through the student colleague or we need to do a one year uh, uh, similar study in India. But when we want to go for a master degree program then it's easy for us to do the, the program in, uh, in English different universities have uh, different uh, programs in English also and in, in German also. So we can choose any of the degrees that we want but then the most important thing some of them ask me is engineering very difficult in Germany. I don't say it's very difficult but then we need to keep something in mind. See in India when we want to study if you have 50% mark probably you get admission in engineering but then there you have to be careful. When we are going to Germany when we want to study engineering our maths has to be good. If it's not good then probably we are going to face difficulty in our studies. You get some, some studies in, in science also. So maths has to be uh, rather good when we want to go for an engineering study in Germany. And then, but the advantage is the teaching methodology is different. The, the learning system is different. So you have a lot of supportive faculty, supportive system in the university which may help you probably sometimes better than from India. But then maths you should know really well when you want to go for a study. And this study is going to be between three to four years. Some studies are going to be three years, some three and a half years. So three to four years, it's going to be the, the study duration. And at the end of the thing, you have a bachelor of uh, science or you have a bachelor of engineering, which they call. And then you can get into industry because Germany has one of the best manufacturing companies in the world. So there are quite a lot of best manufacturing, world-class manufacturing companies in Germany. So getting a job is much easier. Another thing is uh, there is a close collaboration, research collaboration between engineering universities and engineering industry. So the advantage is when you want to do some internship, it's easy to get into internship. And once you finish your internship, once you finish your studies, it's easy to get a job also because there is a close collaboration between the university and the engineering industry. Another important thing is that there are a good number of uh, engineering scholarships in Germany. So even if you get admission into a public university, you still can get a scholarship for your living expenses. So that's also an added advantage when you want to do your studies in Germany. Now, what type of universities? When we look at Germany, Germany has a, a classification of universities. There are TU9 universities. There are U15 universities. U15 universities are the research intensive 15 universities association. But there is a TU9 university classification which is the top 9 technical universities in Germany. That's why it's called TU9, top 9 technical universities in Germany. Now which are they? One is RWTH Aachen which is Rheinisch Westphalische Technische Hochschule, Rheinisch Westphalian Technical University Aachen that is the RWTH Aachen. Then we have TU München, which is Technical University Munich. Then we have TU Dresden, Technical University Dresden. We have TU Darmstadt, Technical University Darmstadt. We have TU Berlin, Technical University Berlin. We have TU Braunschweig, which is Technical University Braunschweig. Then we have Karlsruhe Institute of Technology, which we in short form call KIT. We have University of Stuttgart. And then we have Leibniz University Hannover. So these are the nine universities which we call TU9. All these universities have different programs in English, in German. So we can choose between the languages whether you want to do the German language degree program or you want to do the English degree program or you want to do a master's. So choose the stream which we want and then apply in whichever university we get. Let's take the admission. But then 
tune in please give your your first preference and then later we also have uh, engineering programs in uh, fahokshule also in different other university of applied sciences also we will see um, the engineering programs as i said the u15 also you will uh, find uh, uh, engineering programs uh, in uh, some of those universities but then basically look at the technical universities for your uh, engineering program so once we finish the studies the advantage for an engineer it's a technical area so getting a job is much easier than when you go for a general studies number two is when you look for a pr your salary limit is lesser for an engineer to get a pr than from a person who goes for a general studies then the salary limit is going to be higher so uh, pr wise also its advantages for an engineer getting a job wise also its advantage for the for the engineers so this is how the engineering is uh, uh, going to be in germany it's going to be three to four years it's called either Bachelor of Science or Bachelor of Engineering. It's going to be in different streams. It's going to be in, in German. It's going to be in English. As a country, the country profile for engineering is the best in the world. So choosing an engineering degree is always good. And as I said in the beginning, engineering more than the education part of it, the mindset of Germans are the engineering mindset. So. If you go to that country for engineering, I'm sure that that's going to stand you in good stead later when you finish your, uh, your, or your studies. I hope this video is going to be useful for all of you. Until my next video, goodbye to all.